Well, the, the greatest difference is that native title is now established and accepted, I think, by all Australians, by uh, governments around Australia, by major political parties, by major corporations that engage in resource activity in Australia, by all sorts of farming and agricultural and pastoral interests in the country, and by the everyday citizen. In 1992, when the Mabo decision came down, followed by the Native Title Act relatively soon afterwards, there was great political controversy. And for those who weren't around or were too young at the time, you can't fully imagine how great that controversy was. The, the idea that Aboriginal people, who up to that point had not had their rights in land recognised by Australia's common law, uh, suddenly um, had those rights. And today it's just accepted. It's part of life, it's part of politics, it's part of business. It's an enormous change. I flew into Kununurra not long ago and on a Virgin flight. I don't know if Qantas do this or Airlink, but as we were landing, the flight attendant said, uh, welcome to Kununurra. Uh, this is the country of the Mirawong and Gadjurong people. And that wouldn't have happened 25 years ago. Quite an amazing difference. So there's respect through that process for Indigenous people throughout, throughout the country. Mm.